Hello, my name is Sippe Terrain and I work at the Robotics Research Group of the Free University of Brussels. Recently, we have introduced self-healing materials in robotic compliant actuators. Now, new generation robots will be subjected to damaging conditions in unstructured, unknown environments. Now, how are we humans protected against these damaging conditions? Well, we are not, but we have a self-healing ability. Robots, on the other hand, do not have such an ability. Instead, they are overdimensioned to withstand damages. This, however, goes against the general trend of having a lightweight and compact design. This is why we propose to implement a self-healing mechanism in compliant actuators by introducing self-healing polymers. Their self-healing relies on an external heat stimulus. The first concept is a self-healing mechanical fuse, which can be implemented in a compliant actuator. Whenever an overload or high impact occurs on the actuator, the fuse will break sacrificially. It is, however, a self-healing component, so its initial mechanical properties can be recovered after a self-healing process. Using this principle, all components are protected and no additional overdimensioning is required. The second concept is a soft pneumatic actuator. These are made out of hyper-elastic material and show good resistance to mechanical impacts. They are, however, very susceptible to damages caused by sharp objects. This is why we had the idea of developing them entirely out of self-healing elastomers. We did this for a single cell prototype, which showed good mechanical properties, and macroscopic damages could be healed entirely using a self-healing process. Now, the next step is to develop a soft pneumatic hand entirely out of self-healing polymers. So thank you, and if you are interested or have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us.